relevance. Your relevance yesterday, today, and tomorrow is directly connected to your ability to do five specific things. Hi, I'm Dr. Jeffrey McGee, and for the past 30 years, I've been working with businesses globally, domestically, and probably in your backyard. I've been working with individuals from military generals to C-suite entrepreneurs. And the one thing I've recognized about success in business comes down to five core elements. Now, how you attack these five is really wide open. There's no set limits on how you can and cannot do these. I call it relevance for a key reason. The first two letters, R-E, connect with five core words I'd like to challenge you today. You know, the great reboot is what I refer to, in essence, 2020 and 2021 in our rearview mirror. You know, when COVID hit the world, it became an opportunity for a global reboot, both on an individual level and on a business and organization level. It gave everyone an opportunity to reboot and reimagine what their business must look like and what it could look like to be relevant in the future. So for you to be relevant, let me challenge you to consider five items. Number one, re-examine and reevaluate. How often do you individually and do you as an organization reevaluate and reimagine what your business could look like? Let's take those two and unbundle them. First, let's reevaluate. By re-evaluate, we're talking about how often do you sit down and look at every aspect of your business, top down, inside out, left, right. How often do you reevaluate what you're doing? And if you were starting today what you're doing, what would you not be doing that you've been doing? If you were to reevaluate your deliverables, whatever those are, tangible or intangible, whether you deliver them virtually or not, reevaluate your purpose by reevaluating what you do as your product, services, or deliverables. Reevaluate is what most organizations only do when they're in crisis mode, or they do them once a year, or maybe they hire an outside entity, or maybe if they're large enough, they have that R&D department that's always supposed to be doing actually these five REs. But you have to own, number one, reevaluate and reexamine what you're doing. And the more often you can do it, gives you ways to nuance and adjust and a change to become even more relevant to yourself and your organization, and therefore those that you serve. By doubling down on number one, reevaluate, allows you to go to the second RE of relevance, and that is reimagine. Reimagine is talking about innovation, creativity. Reimagine is about looking at what you do to recognize are there better ways to do what you do. You know, when I'm working with clients, we've recognized four core ways to reimagine anything that you do, design, or deliver. Because we've recognized psychologically the only reason you change a buying decision or you double down and own your buying decision is one of four categories. Now we can make this really a micro, but let's just talk about it from a macro big picture. The four core ways to reimagine the marketplace, your competition, yourself, is to ask yourself better, faster, different, cost effective. Is there any way to do this better? Is there something better out there you and I might consider buying it? But we're not going to go the opposite of better or different or more efficient or more cost effective. Those four rules are a very quick way to recognize what you have to offer. Is it a value to the marketplace? So number two in the relevancy journey is to recognize, do you reimagine on a regular basis how to truly serve and deliver to the marketplace what it is that you're offering? Once you go through the reimagine stage, creativity stage, innovation stage, then the fourth, excuse me, the third element of this RE relevance journey is going to be all about how do you then rebrand? So, so do you brand it? Do you rebrand it? Don't get caught up on the wordsmithing here, but the element is, are you continuously engaging that marketplace from a rebranding standpoint, letting them know what you have to offer, how you're accelerating and serving others, how you can solve their needs and challenges, how you can think before they even recognize they have a challenge that you've already pre-identified it and you have the solution. So rebranding is critically important because also as the marketplace changes and evolves, how you have to rebrand yourself to grab someone's attention radically changes from one opportunity to the next. That takes us to the fourth phase of the relevancy journey, and that's going to be how do you then re-engage? Re-engage yourself into the marketplace, re-engage your clients, your customers, your colleagues, your coworkers, your employees, your partners, your vendors, your advocates, your alliances. Those, those ways of re-engaging are critically important today because that great global reboot has changed the ball game as to how you re-engage the marketplace. We talk about over 300 ways you can engage those around you when we work with our clients. So if you're thinking about, oh, I can't come up with one way, I got 299 other options for you. So once you re-engage, then you can truly evolve it to that next level 
of how do you then, in essence, make yourself relevant? See, if someone else is getting market share and you're not, then you're not as relevant as you need to be and must be. You might think so in your head, but you're not from the marketplace. When you start to recognize that everyone has a product or deliverable and there's a defined set of environments that we're all marketing into, see, old school, we call that market share. But if you want to really grow your development, you want to grow yourself, you want to grow those around you, you want to grow your piece of the business, as they say, think more from an abundance mentality. I call it not market share, but market opportunity. How do you look at things around you? Every day, you should be a student of those organizations that are continuously 24-7 reevaluating and re-examining, reimagining and innovating, rebranding and connecting, re-engaging and developing, and that's why they're the ones that are relevant in your marketplace. Any business today you find that's thriving, someone's dying. And the one that's dying did not understand the relevance journey because they should have owned what the new person is bringing to the table. Think about everything we buy today. Whether you go to a physical building to buy it, whether you drive up somewhere and hand it to you, whether you go on virtually and it's delivered to you, business is still business. So if you think about, let's just go back 100 years. Some of you might know these names. Recognize when you start to have a connection to this sequence. Ben Franklin, Five and Dime. Woolworths, Montgomery Wards. Sears and Roebuck, Kmart, Walmart, Amazon. Where did you recognize, oh, I know that one. I remember that one. Because if you think about the very first stores I gave you, the American capitalist system used to use each one of those to measure how our, in essence, economy was going and growing. And if any of those first ones had recognized how to re-examine, re-evaluate, how to reimagine, innovate, how to rebrand, stay relevant, how to re-engage to engage, they would in essence be the Amazon of today. Because all that Amazon is, is the next iteration of what in essence Warworth used to be. So ask yourself, are you dying, surviving, or are you thriving? Relevance is what you must be to be here tomorrow. I'm Jeffrey McGee. Thanks for going on this journey of relevance today.